I know, I know, this looks a little bit like clickbait, but I'm telling you, this is the only thing that worked for my RSI. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Green Developer Channel. Today I want to share with you a review of one of the items I use every day while working that has had the biggest impact on making my setup feel comfortable and productive. I want to talk about my weird looking vertical mouse, more specifically the Logitech MX vertical mouse. I've had a lot of questions about that spaceship looking thing and if it actually works at all, so it's about time that I share a review of it. Now, obviously I could just go ahead and give you all the tech details and read from the catalog like you see in a lot of other reviews to tell you all about this mouse, but I'm not going to do that because it would be a waste of time for all of us. Instead, I'll tell you how I ended up using the MX Vertical and why I'm sticking with it from the point of view of someone who has actually been using it for months. So first of all, I'm a software developer. I spend a lot of time each day sitting at a desk, working on a computer, and outside of working, I also like playing video games. And so obviously with all this time spent on the computer, what ended up happening, I developed symptoms of RSI in my right wrist. Nothing completely debilitating, but enough to be uncomfortable and make me not want to be working on the computer at all. So I tried a couple different things, changed my generic mouse to something a little bit more ergonomic. That didn't change much at all. I tried using a mouse that's much lighter because it seemed to have worked for some other people. I tried lowering my mouse sensitivity so that it would use my shoulders more than my wrist, but that didn't alleviate anything at all. I also tried using an external trackpad, which not only didn't make things better for me, but it seem to actively make things worse for my specific case. What I eventually found that did show some promise was one of those cheap generic vertical mice that you can find on Amazon. And to my surprise, it actually worked really well. It's a bit awkward at first, but within a week I could tell that my RSI felt much better already. The idea behind these vertical mice being that while sitting at a computer desk, using a vertical mouse is much closer to how your arms and wrists would lay if they were in a completely neutral and relaxed position, as opposed to how it is when using a regular mouse, where your forearms will pronate ever so slightly out of their relaxed position, which doesn't feel like much over a short period of time, but builds up strain when you're sitting in that position for hours on end like we are when we're working on the computer. But wasn't that supposed to be a review of the MX Vertical? Why am I talking about these cheap vertical mice then? Well. Here's the thing, the OEM shell mice that I've just shown are nice and they did help alleviate my RSI, but they're obviously kind of cheap products. And with how much time I spend working at a computer, I grew tired of the small issues that they have. Whether it's an iffy wireless connection, some input lag, just an average sensor, overall just a product that although it did the job, it didn't feel particularly nice to use. And that's where the MX Vertical comes into play. From an RSI standpoint, it has been perfect for me. The hand placement feels even better than the other mice I've just shown, and so I haven't had any new flare-ups of RSI since using it. But on top of that, it actually has a good Bluetooth connection you'd kind of expect from top quality items from Logitech. The input delay is not noticeable as long as you use it for what it's meant, and aren't hoping to use it as a serious gaming mouse. I still use it for light gaming and you get used to it enough that it's not hindering you for casual games, but obviously if you're aiming to you know, play competitive video games, that's obviously not the mouse for you. The battery life is long enough that I put away the cable every time I charge the mouse because I know I won't need it for another couple weeks of daily usage. Overall, it's just a product that feels like very good quality that will last a good while and that doesn't have any of those tiny annoying quirks from the cheaper products. You even get the ability to swap between up to three different devices and use Logitech Flow to move files between computers. Listen, I don't use any of those features, so I can't really comment on them, but I'm sure it can be a selling point to some of you out there. Anyway, my point being that the Logitech MX Vertical feels like a good example of getting what you pay for. Sure, it's an expensive product and it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of other productivity mice, like a side-scrolling wheel, but if you have RSI and you want to try a vertical mouse, but you still want to have a quality product that feels good and that has all the great support from Logitech software behind it, you need to give this mouse a try. A vertical mice help your case. This is the option that helps your RSI while still being enjoyable to use. I'm personally at a point where I might have to order another one just in case they ever get discontinued. and mine ever stops working because I honestly don't know what I'd be using if it wasn't for this specific mouse. And I obviously can't promise you that it's going to work for your specific case, but 
all I can do is at least vouch for the fact that this mouse is a really good compromise between having something that feels nice to use that doesn't get on your nerves as you're using it every day for the work that you know you've spent so much time on but that also gives you the benefit of being a vertical mouse that's supposed to help with at least some of the people that have RSI issues out there. Anyway, look around your local ads for a used one, give it a try, see if it helps with your forearm issues like it helped mine. I know how frustrating it can be to try new products like that, but it does feel awesome when you finally find something that actually helps. If you can't find a used one, I will also put a link in the description below where you can find the MX Vertical on Amazon, so feel free to use that if you want to. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. It helps a lot if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like it, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support this channel even more, you can check out my Patreon down below. Either way, I'll see you all next week. And until then, take care.